competition for the 1993 Miss Alabama pageant, and we are so happy to have you here tonight. I am very excited to be back in Alabama to MC the pageant. I have been here a couple of times, but I don't remember a year that I've had more fun with our production, and I'd like to say thank you to all of my friends here in Alabama for inviting me back. Now let's meet the people whose job it is to decide just who our next Miss Alabama will be, our panel of judges. Chuck Skinner has more than 27 years experience in the Miss America program at the local, state, and national level. He is executive director of the Miss Maryland Scholarship Pageant and is also the current president of the National Association of Miss America State Pageants. He has judged more than 130 Miss America preliminaries in 17 states. Chuck has a bachelor's degree in speech and drama from Dakota Wesleyan University and a master's degree in radio and television production from Syracuse University with experience as a television and theater producer director. Please make welcome Mr. Chuck Skinner. Reen Harden is a graduate of the College of Industrial Arts and the Verti Studio of Fashion and Design. Active in community affairs, she is listed in Personalities of the South for her contribution to the arts. Associated with the Miss America organization since 1958, Reen regularly attends the national pageant. In Florida, she was executive director of the Miss Manatee pageant for three years and was formally involved at the state level holding the offices of vice president, judges chairman, franchise chairman, and regional director. She helped with the selection and preparation of Miss America Leanza Cornette's talent for her competition in Atlantic City last year. Reen has judged over 400 pageants on the local, state, and national levels and Miss America state preliminaries from Mississippi to Alaska. She lives in Bradenton, has, and she's the mother of two daughters and one son. Please make welcome Reen Harden. Jay Gilbert is president of J.H. Gilbert Services, a company providing professional and support services to the funeral profession. He has had 12 years of private training in piano performance. Jay is past president of the Association of Pennsylvania Scholarship Pageants and has judged numerous Miss America preliminary pageants in eight states. He has also judged state pageants in Louisiana, Virginia, New York, New Mexico, New Hampshire, Virginia, Rhode Island, and Delaware. Jay has attended the Miss America pageant for the past 14 years. Please welcome Jay Gilbert. <laughs> Phoebe Tyree is on the board of directors for the Miss Arizona pageant, where she also serves as judge's chairperson, coordinator of new franchise development, field producer, executive director, consultant liaison, and is executive director of the Miss Chandler Scholarship pageant. Formerly associated with the Miss Virginia pageant, Phoebe served as executive director of the Miss Lunenburg County pageant. She also serves as mistress of ceremonies and entertainment for pageants in Virginia, Washington, D.C., Alabama, and Arizona. Married to sportscaster Carl Giltari, Phoebe has won numerous civic awards, including Outstanding Service NAACP Award in 1981, Outstanding Service Coalition for Community Service Award in 1981, and Director's Award for Outstanding Service to Reach Out, Touch a Team in 1982. Please welcome Phoebe Tyree. Richard Reynolds is a native of Winston-Salem, North Carolina, where he is president of Richard M. Reynolds Enterprises. Mr. Reynolds, having over 20 years of experience in almost every facet of pageantry, has judged more than 300 local and 40 state Miss America preliminaries. Recently, the Miss Texas and Miss Oklahoma pageants. More recently, the Miss Alabama pageant. He was on the panel of judges for the 1988 Miss Minnesota pageant, of which the winner, Gretchen Carlson, became Miss America 1989. For three years, Richard was director of judging for the Miss North Carolina pageant and a member of the executive committee. He has also served as vice president of the Miss North Carolina Scholarship Association, Incorporated. Please welcome Richard Reynolds.
certainly have a wide background uh, of the panel of judges this year, and they certainly have judged a number of local and state preliminary pageants. We're very lucky to have them as our panel to select the 1993 Miss Alabama. Bringing them together is the chairperson for judges, Mrs. Pat Tucker. Thank you, Pat. Our auditors for the Miss Alabama pageant are provided by the Birmingham News, Jim Jacobson, Jr., Bob Johnson, and Larry Wall, Jr. They're busy tallying up all of our judges' ballots, which began earlier in the week with our interviews, and of course, in our three nights of preliminary competition. Now let's give them a big hand as they attempt to tally for the last night. Thank you for the Birmingham News. Now, if you rub your magic lamp, you'll hear the musical wishes come true as Kim Wimmer and Dan Smith take you on a magic carpet ride to a whole new world.
Miss Alabama, Kim Wimmer, and of course, Dan Smith. They have enjoyed being together this week and showcasing each other's talents. They certainly are a compliment to one another. And if you are joining us for the first time this week, we are going to tell you right now that you're in for a big treat. Those of us who have seen the preliminary competitions uh, know that the program is exciting and your presence here and your enthusiasm with your applause is so very important to the production. So we hope that you'll keep it up and give us a lot of encouragement as we move on through the evening. I would like to thank two men who have become very good friends to us this week. They have a very difficult job with a technical program such as this, keeping us all in line and doing it in a way that will complement the Wright Center. That is Mark Fuller, Managing Director of Wright Center, and Adam Peltz, our Technical Director. Thank you, gentlemen, for all your hard work. There hasn't been a single challenge that they haven't been able to meet this week, and we appreciate you. The Miss Alabama dancers have worked extremely hard since last April. Uh, Tammy Towns is our pageant choreographer, and she's been working with these young people for a number of months putting the program together. And let's give a big hand to Tammy and the Miss Alabama dancers. And as you know, sitting in the audience, we have three competitions on stage. And as our contestants get ready for each of those competitions, we want to keep you entertained. And we're doing it very well with the Miss Alabama dancers. Well, each of our contestants came here very prepared. I want to congratulate all of the local area pageants for preparing the contestants. They came with a lot of enthusiasm. They started out early on Monday learning all of the production numbers with our dancers and hearing the music for the first time. And believe it or not, by Tuesday night, we had put the entire show together and they were so talented, they were able to pick up all of the dance steps and the choreography so quickly. So we want to congratulate you on getting the contestants ready to be here with us and to thank them for their enthusiasm and patience as we worked with 45 contestants on this stage. We also want to tell you that the competition uh, is only one part of the Miss Alabama experience. Having the opportunity to meet and enjoy all of the other contestants, of course, is the most valuable experience because with the sharing that has been going on this week, they have broadened their experiences together and together they have become very close friends. And we know they'll take that away with them. It's a tremendous amount of self-confidence has been built this week and we're so proud of each contestant. Well, the largest continent on Earth is Asia, and the Orient is the most interesting and colorful place in the world. Nearly everything in the Orient is very different from the Western world. Printing, sculpture, music, and art, poetry, and even ways of living and thinking. As we start our journey around the world, let us welcome Kim Wimmer, Dan Smith, and the Miss Alabama dancers as we travel to our first country.
This is the Miss Alabama Sorority. There are four phases of competition in the Miss Alabama pageant. They are talent, which is worth 40% of the contestants' total score, interviews, which were conducted on Tuesday and Wednesday and comprise 30% of the overall score, evening wear comprises 15% of the score, and swimsuit competition accounts for 15% of the total score. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we will begin our swimsuit competition with our 11 finalists. Contestant number 41, Lori Jackson, Miss Southern Alabama. Lori is a December graduate of the University of Alabama, where she was named to the President's and Dean's List. She was President of the Student Council for Exceptional Children and Representative to the Student Advisory Committee. Lori was named Alabama's Most Outstanding Student in emotional conflict. She is contestant number 41, Lori Jackson, Miss Southern Alabama. <laughs> contestant number 42, Amy Beth Dickinson, Miss East Alabama. Amy Beth is a senior at Sanford University where she is working towards a degree in public relations. She's a presenter for Sex and Family Education, a program to Alabama's public school youth which presents sex education with an emphasis on abstinence. She was an anchor on NBC's Kids World 13 for five years. This is contestant number 42, Amy Beth Dickinson, Miss East Alabama. Contestant number 27, Heather Whitestone, Miss Point Mallard. In addition to her dance, Heather enjoys doing aerobics. She feels it is not only important to be mentally fit, but physically fit as well. This is contestant number 27, Heather Whitestone. Contestant number 
number 42, Meg Jackson, Miss Birmingham Southern College. In 1992, Meg was selected as a Rotary Scholar to Germany, as well as being chosen to one of two Alabama women to attend the Women as Leaders Conference in Washington, D.C. Meg has served as President, Analytic Delegate, and Model Initiate to her chapter of Chi Omega, as well as serving as President of Phi Sigma, Phi Sigma Iota Foreign Language Society. Contestant number 32, Meg Jackson. Contestant number 37, LaShondra Banks, Miss Lee County Fair. LaShondra is a senior at Alabama State University, majoring in computer science and minoring in music. She is involved with the ASU Peer Counseling Tutorial Program, the Hornet Yearbook Staff, Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society, and Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. LaShondra is a National Dean's List student and was awarded a medallion for maintaining the highest GPA in University College for the 91 school year. Contestant number 37, LaShondra Banks. <laughs> Contestant number 29, Marley Irwin, Miss Shelby County. Montevallo, where she is majoring in pre-nursing. She is a Chi Omega Pledge class president, secretary of the Student Alumni Association, a cheerleader in college night production, and a member of Orcasis Dance Production. This is contestant number 29, Marley Irwin, Miss Shelby County. <laughs> contestant number 18, Jennifer Wilson, Miss Sanford University. Major in psychology and minoring in theater. She's a member of Alpha Delta Pi Social Sorority and Alpha Psi Omega Drama Fraternity. Her hobbies include cross-stitching and collecting masks. She plans to pursue a career as a psychologist. This is contestant number 18, Jennifer Wilson, Miss Sanford University. <laughs> contestant number 22, Deborah Sharp, Miss Jefferson County. Deborah is a senior music major attending Birmingham Southern College. She has been named a finalist and winner of many piano competitions. Deborah has been a featured guest performer on the televised program Artists at Work. Deborah created the Civic Project, which she entitled Sharp Notes, through which she entertains and teaches appreciation of music and the arts. This is contestant number 22, Deborah Sharp, Miss Jefferson County. Chapman, Miss Leeds area. Kaylin is a junior at the University of South Alabama, a member of the Black Student Union. Kaylin enjoys writing poetry, playing ping pong, and choreographing hip hop dances. Kaylin has danced professionally at Disney MGM Studios in Orlando and hopes to become an industrial psychologist. Her personal philosophy is life is learning. Contestant number 39, Kaylin Chapman. Number 13, Lee Scherer, Miss Coleman area. She's a member of the Acapella Choir, Sanford Performing Arts Program, Phi Kappa Lambda, Alpha Lambda Delta, and Dean's List. Lee's social sorority is Alpha Delta Pi. She's contestant number 13, Lee Scherer, Miss Coleman area. Miss Cherokee County. She is a member of the Alabama School of Fine Arts. She enjoys dancing, reading, and singing. India plans to earn a degree in political science and continue her education into law school, where she hopes to earn a degree in law. This is contestant number 14, India Powell, Miss Cherokee County. And that concludes the swimsuit competition. We're off to a great start. Let's encourage our contestants once again. Thank you. And as they come back, of course, you'll see them in the talent competition. The spectacular sets that you're seeing were designed by Gary Weatherly and constructed by his staff led by Lee Drew. For the past month, they've been busy with hammer and nails at all hours of the day and night, constructing these beautiful sets. We'd like to thank Lee and his crew and Gary for heading them off in the right direction. You've done an outstanding job once again this year. Thank you so much. And Scott Hope, who is our sound engineer, he's doing an outstanding job with us once again, has been very busy from early in the day through the night.
The Birmingham News has been a sponsor for the Miss Alabama pageant for over 70 years. The News has provided all of the promotion for the pageant and also contributes a $500 cash scholarship in the memory of Lily Mae Caldwell. Thanks to the Birmingham News and all of their staff for such wonderful support, we could not do it without you. Gus Meyer in Brookwood Mall has hosted each group of our contestants during the week. Each day a group went out to the store and met with the customers, had an opportunity for the customers to meet individually and sign autographs. They had a wonderful time at Gus Meyer and we'd like to thank our friends there for hosting the autograph parties. The person who runs the Miss Alabama office and keeps us in line is our executive secretary and what a job she has done. Sandra Gardner, we appreciate you and the fine work that you have done this year. We also want to uh, share our thanks for J David Hill's work in handling the pageant's publicity. Bad Parks and Tartans, Sheep, Mountains, the Lowlands and the Highlands, Golf, Kilts, soccer, cathedrals, and castles. These are just some of the images that come to mind when we think of the wonderful land of Scotland. Let Kim Dan and the Miss Alabama dancers bring those images to life as they perform to Scotland the Brave.
We have thanked these people each night and we will thank them again tonight because they make possible the educational pursuits of these young women. So let's get together and thank them for their generous contributions. We are very proud to call out their names each evening and thank them for what they've done. As I explained, talent makes up 40% of the total votes. This is the most important phase of the competition. Your applause is a great source of encouragement for our contestants, and now let's begin the talent competition. <laughs> Contestant number 41, Miss Southern Alabama, Lori Jackson, will sing Birth of the Blues. Let's make her welcome. Contestant number 41, Miss Southern Alabama, Lori Jackson. have all of the wonderful 
music from the 1993 Miss Alabama pageant. All of the production members, of course, Kim performed a couple numbers earlier in the week that you won't hear tonight. Uh, Danny Boy and uh, April in Paris and some other beautiful songs. So we encourage you to find out about those out in the lobby and take along a copy of our audio soundtrack. Our next contestant, number 42, Miss East Alabama, Amy Beth Dickinson, will perform a lyrical ballet and semi-classical piano rendition of I Am What I Am by Jerry Herman. Here is contestant number 42, Miss East Alabama, Amy Beth Dickinson.
Kelton Tours sends a very special charter bus to Pageant Week with Ed Ando as their driver. The contestants have as much fun on their bus trips as any other thing they do during the week. We really appreciate the help from Kelton Tours and the wonderful bus we've had all week to get around. Joe Malazzo is a real friend all year to Miss Alabama. Her appearances all over the state require many clothes, and Joe makes certain her wardrobe is kept in excellent condition. Thank you, Mr. Joe Malazzo, River Hills Cleaners. Contestant number 32, Miss Birmingham Southern, Meg Jackson, will perform the Balotella Stridono La Soup from the opera Pagliacci by composer Leon Lavallo. Here is contestant number 32, Miss Birmingham Southern, Meg Jackson.
The contestants have been royally treated this week with food provided by Vincent's Market by Brookwood Mall, Wings and Wildwood, Cabana Cafe, Matthews Catering, the Marriott Services here at Sanford, Baskin Robbins of the Stadium. Can you tell I like Baskin Robbins? I say it so much. Baskin Robbins, doesn't that sound good? Chick-fil-A every night they have had it. So we want to thank all of these people for making food available to our contestants during the week and the one ice cream. Our next contestant, number 29, Miss Shelby County Marley Irwin, will perform a classical ballet dance to the theme song from the movie Somewhere in Time. Here is contestant number 29, Miss Shelby County Marley Irwin. on video. Charles Sides Photography will provide photos of all competition areas for our contestants and has been around for all the candid shots as well. He is the official photographer for all Miss Alabama functions. Thank you, Charles, and I would like to remind you that information about the packages of photographs is available in our lobby. Our thanks to Dandy RV for their cash scholarship donation of $200 each for two non-finalist talent winners. Contestant number 18, Miss Sanford University, Jennifer Wilson, will sing There's a Winner in You, written by Ashford and Simpson and made famous by Patty LaBelle. Please welcome contestant number 18, Miss Sanford University, Jennifer Wilson.
gowns, not only for the Atlantic City competition, but for Miss Alabama's many performances throughout the year, and has also provided all of Kim's costumes for this week. We'd like to express our thanks to Ann Northern King for the outstanding work that she does in making Miss Alabama's beautiful. U.S. Air is our newest Miss Alabama sponsor. Miss Alabama and her traveling companions are provided round-trip tickets to Atlantic City. We'd like to thank our new friends in U.S. Air. And don't forget that Miss Alabama will leave for Atlantic City on September the 3rd for a series of long rehearsals in preparation for the Miss America pageant. The Miss America pageant will air on NBC on September the 18th, so be sure to tune in and watch and cheer her on. Or better yet, you may want to make the trip to Atlantic City with the Alabama friends. If you want more information about joining the group and having the excitement of being in Convention Hall in Atlantic City, call the Miss Alabama office for more information. You couldn't have a better time than Atlantic City on September the 18th. Brown Oak Tours arranges all our travel needs during the year, and if you are planning to get, attend the Miss America pageant, you may contact Brown Oak Tours for making those arrangements. Contestant number 22, Miss Jefferson County, Deborah Sharp, will perform a classical piece from the Romantic period entitled Piano Concerto G Minor, Opus 25, Third Movement by Mendelssohn. Please welcome contestant number 22, Miss Jefferson County, Deborah Sharp.
drug hangers miss Alabama all year with hair, makeup, skincare, and any personal products she may need throughout the year. Carlene also travels to Atlantic City to make sure Miss Alabama looks her best. We'd like to thank Carlene for all the hours she puts in to work with Miss Alabama, and we'd like to thank her for being with us backstage to help Kim and myself during the week. Thank you, Carlene. Deborah Thornhill will provide the official photographs of Miss Alabama for the Miss America pageant. If you have already obtained your souvenir program book, you will see an area in the book where you can order the Miss America program book in time for the pageant September the 18th. So we encourage you to get a copy of the official Miss America program book and see the photographs taken that Deborah Thornhill has provided. Shoals Community College, Sneed State Junior College, Southern Union State Junior College, Troy State University, and the University of Alabama have contributed generous scholarships to Miss Alabama program. Thank you for these scholarships. Contestant number 39, Miss Leeds area, Kaylin Chapman, will perform a modern dance, The River, by Duke Ellington. Here is contestant number 39, Miss Leeds area, Kaylin Chapman. Thank you so much to Stanford. And our thanks to the Huffman High School singers 
under the direction of Alan Gillespie for the wonderful job they have done this year with the backup vocals on all of our production. Cameo Couture's furnishes each of our contestants with a robe for the week during this time of rehearsals. We needed robes in here, it was a little chilly. But each of our contestants has received a robe and the new Miss Alabama will receive her official robe that says Miss Alabama, which she will take to the Miss America pageant. They're also providing a $300 gift certificate and gift certificates will be provided to our finalists as well. Contestant number 13, Miss Coleman Area, Lee Scherer, will perform a medley from the opera Carmen by the French composer Georges Bizet, which describes the beautiful gypsy woman with a flamboyant spirit. Here is contestant number 13, Miss Coleman Area, Lee Scherer.
Jorge Grant. As Granada, Cordoba, and Seville. Let us take you to the Mosque of Cordoba as the Miss Alabama dancers Dan and Kim and our contestants travel with us through the country of Spain.
dancers and our contestants are doing a wonderful job. I'd like to tell you that the Miss Alabama dancers are students from the Jackie O'Neill School of Dance and the Vestavia Hills Revelettes. I'd also like to tell you that Betty Ponder is the pageant costumer and works very closely with Tammy Towns in preparing for the production, making all the costumes for our dancers, and I would like to express my appreciation to Betty for providing my clothes this week for the pageant. She does an outstanding job. Thank you, Betty, for all of your help. Each finalist will be asked a question on her platform. Remember that each contestant is competing against herself and will at no time be compared to another contestant. Now let's begin the evening wear competition. Contestant number 41, Lori Jackson, Miss Southern Alabama. I would like to ask the question two times. Lori, what have you personally gained through your experience of courtship abuse? I repeat, Lori, what have you personally gained through your experience of courtship abuse? I have gained a better confidence about myself, and I have learned that I can help others to project themselves with self-confidence so that these men that are batterers will know that we will not tolerate abuse in our community. is important to you. Is there one key factor that may have been overlooked or not taught in our schools and homes today? Please explain. In the last 23 years, the federal budget for contraceptive services has increased 500%, and at the same time, teenage pregnancy rates have increased 400%. That causes one to wonder, why are these increasing? And I, I think one big point is that self-control has been overlooked. We've assumed that these young people are just going to go ahead and do it anyway. But I'd like to encourage young people, and I have encouraged young people to focus in on self-control because when you wait, that's the best of them all because not only do you gain that, but you also gain self-esteem in the process. question two times. In looking at the many negative issues facing America today, what advice would you give to anyone facing a failure? I'll repeat. In looking at the many negative issues facing America today, what advice would you give to anyone facing a failure? for the deaf and children and I have so many friends who have a negative attitude but what I told them is that I so much agree with Helen Keller she is my positive role model 
She said they face your problems and know them, and, but don't let them master you. You master them. Let them teach, teach you patience, kindness, and gentle, because you never know what a miracle you would give in other people's lives or in your life. And that's what my role model, and that's what advice that I would tell you. Educational reform is your platform. Please, please give us some examples of how Alabama can reform our educational status. I'll repeat that. Educational reform is your platform. Please give us some examples of how Alabama can reform our educational status. Currently, Alabama is in the midst of an educational crisis. Teachers are working through the depths of despair Students aren't learning respect, they aren't learning algebra, they aren't learning chemistry, despite the efforts of very dedicated individuals in the educational field. It's imperative that parents and teachers and communities learn that the education of our children is a shared responsibility. It's not simply the responsibility of an educator. I look, hope, I look forward to the future of Alabama with hope as we work to increase our funding, as we work to increase our literacy level, and as we work to focus on the education of our children as the one thing that will pull our state forward in the future. This is contestant number 32, Meg Jackson, Miss Birmingham Southern. Contestant number 37, LaShondra Banks, Miss Lee County Fair. In your opinion, why are so many elderly people abused today? I'll repeat the question. In your opinion, why are so many elderly people abused today? Well, first of all, so many elderly people are abused because the caretakers don't have the proper training that they need to care for the elderly. The elderly people have special needs, and there's a special type of patience that people must have to take care of them. Also, so many elderly are being abused because they're not reporting the abuse. There are over 1 million cases of abuse occurring, but only 140,000 cases are reported each year. I think that we need to encourage elderly to report the abuse so in the future the occurrences will be Contestant number 37, LaShondra Banks, Miss Lee County Fair. Contestant number 29, Marley Irwin, Miss Shelby County. Why is donating blood so important to our communities today? I'll repeat it. Why is donating blood so important to our communities today? Currently, only 3% of Alabamians donate blood, and 750 donors are needed each day to meet the needs of Alabama hospitals. 
only with us contributing to the need will we stop the shortness. and they must be qualified, qualified in education to teach education. This continuing education could possibly help find cures to such things as AIDS, cures to heart diseases, and it could solve many problems that our nation has faced. So I believe people that have that much of an impact on our youth, our future, they must have education. It will improve their lives and the lives of all of those children and people they touch.
How important is it to introduce the arts to our preschool students and why? How important is it to introduce the arts to our preschool students and why? I think that God has given us all very special talents in life. And to know that he, he's given me a very special talent as a musician to be able to have two talents. And I think that it's, it's very important at a young age to stress the arts because each child has a special talent. And it's very important for that child to find their, that special talent to develop self-esteem and to better themselves as individuals in life. Congratulations. Miss Phoenix City, Miss University of South Alabama, Miss Silicaga, Miss Lake Harding, and Miss Shelby County. And the winning local preliminary pageant is Miss Silicaga. They will receive the award at the reception immediately following the pageant. You will notice that we have state-of-the-art in digital recording for all productions this year. Our friends at The Sound of Birmingham have provided this service to us. Don Mosley and his staff have done a command performance. This year they are providing our music tape for our new Miss Alabama for Atlantic City. We would like to thank all of the individuals who worked on the local pageants this year. Thank you for your time and energies in producing opportunities for young women. You've done an outstanding job. In discovering the African continent, we remember Victoria Falls, Mount Kenya, the Sahara Desert, the Pyramids of Egypt, the Nile Valley, kings and pharaohs. Let us join our African queen, Kim Wimmer, and her tribe members as they perform their African tribal dance.
Johnson Barton Sweet Low and Knack have provided all legal counsel and having totally established the corporation in Miss Alabama, William McGowan IV provides his services to the organization. Thank you, Judge, for all of your help. Due to the generosity of Don Drennan, of Don Drennan Buick, of Hoover, the judges have been very comfortable in their park avenues as they've made their way around town. Thank you to Don Drennan for providing those cars. Charles Matthews of Matthews Catering Service meets all of our catering needs during the year. Miss Alabama has many needs during the year and we'd like to thank all the people who make possible the services and the awards. I would like to announce that Miss Alabama is, an, is awarded the official Miss America crown donated by Linda Vickers of Elegant Expressions. Well, it's time now to experience the non-finalist talent winner's special talent. She is contestant number 44, Miss Huffman, Madonna Flowers. She will sing Half a Moment by Andrew Lloyd Webber. Let's make her welcome now, our non-finalist talent winner, Miss Huffman, Madonna Flowers. of Women's Clubs for their donation of $1,000 to our scholarships, and to Aetna Insurance, contributing $750, also to the Downtown Lions Club for their $500 donation. A $250 cash scholarship is being awarded to the non-finalist receiving the highest score in interview. We'll make the announcement but not the presentation at this time. This award is given by Frank Canellis in honor of Mickey Oxford, Miss Alabama, 1938. The winner is contestant number 11, Michelle Taylor, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Congratulations, Michelle.
A $500 cash scholarship in honor of Nora Chapman, past president, is being awarded by the Miss Alabama Pageant Incorporated Board of Directors. The recipient of this $500 cash scholarship is contestant number 42, Amy Beth Dickinson. To make sure the stage is in full bloom tonight, the Cole Floral Company has provided all the floral needs to the Miss Alabama pageant. We appreciate our friends from the Cole. A very special thank you to the Marriott Courtyard for hosting our judges this week. We appreciate the hospitality provided by Marriott. And Jeff Carlisle provides Miss Alabama and the Miss Alabama Review with all audio needs during the year. Thank you to our friends at Jam Audio Productions. Mr. Birch Formal Wear provides all of the evening wear that our young escorts are wearing, haven't they been handsome? We'd like to thank Mr. Wayne Birch for his contribution. We also want to thank Jim and Nick's Barbecue for, for providing our Miss Alabama dancers with sandwiches during Friday night's performance. We have friends at SunTrust Bank who provide full checking for the Miss Alabama and the pageant and hold in trust all the scholarship funds. Sperry Snow and Eric McLean of Barton Clay Jewelers in Mountbrook always see to it that Miss Alabama arrives on time. They will be providing her with a beautiful 14 karat gold watch, a very special award enjoyed by Miss Alabama from Barton Clay Jewelers. Each contestant was required to submit a community service presentation. Six finalists were selected and interviewed by a special panel of three Birmingham community leaders. The six finalists were contestant number 11, Michelle Taylor, Miss UAB, contestant number 15, Elizabeth Woodman, Miss St. Clair area, contestant number 17, Lisa Ferguson, Miss Etowah County, contestant number 32, Meg Jackson, Miss Birmingham Southern, contestant number 36, Jenny Crumpton, Miss Hoover area, and contestant number 42, Amy Beth Dickinson, Miss East Alabama. I'm happy to announce that the $1,000 Community Service Award, sponsored by Milton McGregor, is awarded to contestant number 17, Miss <laughs> Kim Wimmer visited Ireland and France, but tonight she chooses a new continent out of this world.
great time this week with that one. Miss Alabama Board of Directors has started a scholarship in memory of James Hatcher for his many years of service to the program. The recipient of this award is contestant number 32, Meg Jackson. Each year, the Miss Alabama Pageant Board of Directors presents a service award. Because of his dedication and commitment to the Miss Alabama pageant, and especially for his excellent bedside manners, this year's service goes to Dr. Mark Cohen. Congratulations, Dr. Cohen. We will receive this award at the reception immediately following the pageant. And now it's time to enjoy our second non-finalist talent winner. This is contestant number 30, Miss Walker County, Daphne Smith. She will sing, I Will Always Love You, composed by Miss Dolly Parton and currently recorded by Whitney Houston. Let's welcome contestant number 30, Miss Walker County, Daphne Smith. Thank you, thank you, Beckham, 
Miss Alabama, 1939. Peggy Elder Butler, Miss Alabama, 1947. Patricia Bonner Burton, Miss Alabama, 1962. Welcome back. Seal Jenkins Snow, Miss Alabama, 1971. Jane Rice Holloway, Miss Alabama, 1973. Elmer, Miss Alabama, 1977. Welcome back. Teresa Cheatham Strickland, Miss Alabama, 1978. Kathy Pickett Porch, Miss Alabama, 1979. Paige Phillips Burns, Miss Alabama, 1980. Tammy Little Hayes, Miss Alabama, 1984. Angela Tower, Miss Alabama, 1985. Angela Callahan, Miss Alabama, 1986. I don't see you, Angela. Are you there? Julie Coons Williams, Miss Alabama, 1989. Risha Riggins Tate, Miss Alabama, 1990. McDougall, Miss Alabama, 1991. Thank you. We welcome all of you back to the place where all your big wishes came true one night, and we are glad that you're back and part of our program. Kim Wimmer has been an outstanding representative for the state of Alabama this year. She has spoken to countless children on her platform, breaking the cycles of abuse, violence, and neglect. At the Miss America pageant, she won the Fruit of the Loom Quality of Life Award for the most outstanding community service among the 50 contestants. With the award came a $10,000 scholarship. She is the first Miss Alabama to receive this award. Kim has accepted a position with Disney, and on September 1st, she will become Ariel in the Little Mermaid Show at MGM Studios in Orlando. We have all grown to love Kim and we wish her well at Disney and look forward to seeing her one day on Broadway. Please welcome her back as we present her with our dedication song.
What an abundant life I've led throughout the last year. As Miss Alabama, I've had tremendous opportunities, gained a wealth of knowledge and experience, and nurtured friendships with some of the most incredible people one could ever hope to find. To all of the sponsors and scholarship donors, I offer my sincere appreciation. It is because of you that the Miss Alabama Project is in my opinion the most outstanding state pageant in America. Thank you for giving me the royal treatment all year. Walter Hill, Glenda Parker, and the entire Miss Alabama Board of Directors, your support and encouragement has been invaluable. You gave me a home and you gave me constant, unconditional love. Each of you is so very special to me. Thanks for being such an important part of my journey. And I expect to see you all at Disney World when this thing's over with. To my precious family and friends, what would I have ever done without your unswerving loyalty and guidance? are not worth being compared to the glory that will be revealed in us. Thanks for a great adventure and a wonderful day. Judges, our contestants met in interviews with the scholarship committee. At that time, the needs of each contestant were addressed and counseling was provided by the committee. And all of the decisions that will be made for distribution of scholarships will be announced through letters to each of our contestants. But we'd like to take this opportunity to introduce the people who have given us a week of their time to help make those important decisions. Our scholarship committee. I'd like to ask them to stand. Mr. Jim Blackburn, Jefferson State Community College. <laughs> Stella Kaporis, University of Alabama at Birmingham. John Burgess, Auburn University. Martiel Emerson, University of North Alabama. Richard Trailer, Sanford University. <laughs> Teresa Strickland, Jacksonville State University. <laughs> David Hill, Birmingham Southern College. <laughs> Martha Ann Cox, Chairperson. <laughs> we would like to extend our thanks to Pat Bendall, whose job is to see that the scholarship judges have everything they need. In arriving from our world tour this evening, we have shared cultures, dances, and music together. Let us welcome Kim and Dan back with a song that certainly bonds our nations together.
Here to present the award is Gary Hughes of Greenbrier Furniture. Each contestant wrote an essay entitled, The Importance of the Home on the Quality of Family Life. The winner of the $3,000 scholarship is contestant number one, Julie Hatcher. Today, the contestants selected the person that they feel has been the most helpful, supportive, and friendly during the week. Miss Congeniality will receive a $250 cash scholarship. She is contestant number 33, Miss Goosebumps Colony presentation of the top five, let me introduce members of the Miss Alabama Board of Directors. Our fourth Vice President, Pat Bendall. Third Vice President, Nan Tenenbaum. Second Vice President, Martha Ann Cox. First Vice President, Pat Tucker. Producer and choreographer, Tammy Towns. Walter Hill. And now for the decision of our judges. The fourth runner-up is contestant number 42, Amy Beth Dickinson from East Alabama. The third runner-up is contestant number 18, Jennifer Wilson, the Number 13, Lee Sharon, Miss Coleman area. 
the first runner up in this position is very important. If for some reason this Alabama cannot fulfill her duties, they will be assumed by contestant number 27.
happiest day of my life. <laughs> there she is. Oh, Joe, take me to the right place. He's supposed to send a rescue. I want one. Wait, wait, wait. Whole family in there. Man, poor. Show up in pictures. Thanks, Charles. Great. Right. Okay, watch it. I'll watch it if you're bad. Here we go. On three. One, two, three. Very good. Right here. Okay. Good. Okay. Now we've got. Hold it back there. Closer up. Here we go. Gorgeous. Okay. 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 She's got your shoes. Not finished. <laughs> How are you, married lady? Um, and the two men to set the most of it and set the three. Don't worry, we're not. Okay. See me cleaning my teeth. Okay, here we go. I have a chance to do a certain amount. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay, okay. Wait, we're going to do one more. I have to get it. I want y'all to tell me anything I'm doing wrong anytime. I want all of <laughs> I do. I do. Can you believe it? I'm so excited. Maybe I should change my talent to singing. No. Can you come here? I think it's like my own baby. We're going. Hey, I know what you're going to do. What are they still going to do? They're going to I'm doing this out of the world number. What's Nan going to do? Shaw? Are you going to dance? I want to go to go. I'm going to get into it, too. I want to go to Disney World, too. You got mine. Oh, okay. Okay. Where's my sister with all my stuff? Okay, here we go, ladies. On three, one, two, three. Okay. Oh, I'm looking off somewhere. I'm sure. It's not where we're going. Are you looking off somewhere? Yeah, well, let's do it again. She's looking off somewhere. Oh, you're looking off somewhere. Eddie? Where are we? It's my husband. You don't get to know my husband. Oh, really? Good. Great. Bye. Thank you so much. Fail. Fail. You have a club time to play? Yes! <laughs>